Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energetic here, back with another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the best defenders that you guys can pick up for your my team. And first, I'm gonna talk about some ones that are kind of hard to get. Maybe if you don't grind a game as much, they'll be hard to get. But then at the end, I'm gonna talk about ones that are more affordable and that anyone really can get, that you don't have to grind a game too much to get these guys. So I'm just gonna show you who these guys are, the first ones that are really like, hands down, the best defenders in my team in this current moment, which, for one, I got to go with Pink Diamond Jerry West. You know, I have to. This is my starting point guard for Unlimited. And you can see his on-ball defense or his perimeter defense is a 97. And he has, uh, let's see what else. His steal is 96. And then his badges, he also happens to have, let's see. He has Pick Dodger and Pick Pocket Gold. Clamps Gold, Interceptor Gold, Off-Ball Pest Gold, Tireless Defender Gold, Trapper Gold. So he has a lot of these good gold badges on the defensive end, which makes him really good defensively. He really locks dudes up for me. And that's why one thing I really love about Jerry West, one of the best defenders in the game, hands down. Now, another one, I think, honestly, I think this is the best defender in the game right now is this Diamond City Moncrief. I use this guy and he is amazing. I cannot stress that enough. This guy's amazing. His perimeter defense is a 98. And then his steal is a 67, but the pink diamond one has a higher steal rating, uh, like by a lot. That's really the main difference between the diamond one and the pink diamond one. I don't have the pink diamond one, so I can't really, you know, show you guys. But his badges, he has off ball pest hall of fame, clamps hall of fame, pick dodger hall of fame, trapper gold, tireless defender gold, pogo stick, defensive leader gold, uh, pick pocket, chase down artist on silver. And yeah, that's it for his defensive badges. But this man right here is a lockdown defender. Trust me when I tell you this man is a lockdown defender. He locks up anyone and everyone, okay? I've locked up so many people with him from some of the best players, okay? Now we're gonna go into some Amethyst players. These are kind of more affordable that kind of anyone can get. We're gonna go with the Shane Battier right here. He's a really good card to have defensively. You, you can see he has a 95 defensive overall. And his perimeter defense is 89 and he steals 84. And his interior defense is 70. It's not great, but it's not terrible, you know. Uh, let's see his badges. He has pickpocket gold, pick dodger gold, clamps gold, which is I always love people who have clamps gold. Even if it's silver, it's okay. Defensive leader gold, heart crusher, interceptor, off ball pass, pogo stick, tireless defender, trapper. And he has moving truck on silver so he has a lot of good defensive badges i use him on my unlimited team just because of his defensive abilities he also is like a, he's a he's like a three and d kind of player so if you want to have somebody who can shoot too you can use him um let's see who else if you're looking for big men then i suggest you get some of these or one of these two guys down here the bill russell or the robert parish i'll show you their attributes and their badges bill russell was really good for me for the time that i had him his block is a 90 interior defense 93 and then look, let's look at his badges. Uh, Rim Protector Hall of Fame, which is really good. He has Pick Pocket Gold, Pick Dodger Gold, Chase Down Artist, Defensive Leader, Intimidator, Moving Truck, Off Ball Pest, Pogo Stick, Pulse Move Lockdown, Tireless Defender. Like he has really good defensive badges. Robert Parrish is really good as well. But I think Bill Russell's a little bit better on the defensive end because Robert Parrish, he has a lower block rating and just a lower interior defense rating by one. But he's a better rebounder, so if you want that, then, you know, you can have that. But he, you see, he doesn't have the Rim Protector Hall of Fame. He has Chase Down Artist Gold. He has Moving Truck Gold, Trapper Gold. Back. Oh, no, that's that's on offensive end. He has Rim Protector on Bronze. So he's not as good as of a defender as Bill Russell, but he's still a good defender. So I definitely think you should pick up one of these two guys. I'd probably say Bill Russell is the better of the two. Um... Now let's look at some Ruby players. These are probably the ones that you guys can get easily off the token market. Really, really good recommendations for you guys. Michael Ray Richardson. This man right here is a clamp god, bro. 92 defensive overall. His perimeter defense is a 93. 92 steal. Really, really, really good. And then for his badges, pickpocket gold, pick dodger gold, clamps gold, heart crusher, interceptor, off ball pest, pogo stick. Tireless Defender, like he has everything that you really need. He only doesn't have Intimidator, which is like the only thing I wish he did have. But on top of that, another Ruby, Michael Cooper, great defender. I also used to use him, but obviously I got better players over time. 
but his perimeter defense is a 90. His steal is not that high, which is the bad part, but he does have pickpocket gold. I'll show you right here. You see right there, pickpocket, pick dodger, chase down artist, clamps, interceptor, off ball pests, uh, Tyler's defender, trapper. And what is this badge right here? It says what lightning reflex receives an earlier cue on the read and react system while playing defense. I never really paid attention to that badge, but he has that as well if you're interested in that. So those are the rubies. Um, another, this one Sapphire play that's really good. This Andre Iguodala is really good defensively. I've never really used him, but the fact that he has clamps on gold as a, as a Sapphire player is really good. His perimeter defense is an 84. I'll show you right here. And you see, I'll show you his badges. You see he has pick dodger, chase down artist, clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, and he also has intimidator gold. So this is a good defensive card to have for a Sapphire player. Off ball pest, pogo stick, Tyler's defender, trapper. Like these are all gold badges he has. And he's a Sapphire player. Like you can get this guy easily. So I definitely think you should pick up um Andre Gudala if you're if you want like a cheap, easy to obtain Sapphire defensive player on your team. Now I'm gonna go into some of these other dudes that may be harder to get. I already spoke about some in the beginning, but we'll, we'll go into more into the domination rewards. So we got Danny Green. Danny Green, I actually use him on my unlimited team. He comes off, he's like the last person off my bench, but I literally have him for defense. Like perimeter defense is a 90. He has an 85 steal. And let's see his badges. Clamps gold, defensive leader gold, off ball pest. Trapper silver. And that's about it you know he doesn't he's not nothing too crazy but he also does have four hall of fame badges for a ruby he has four hall of fame badges so i mean these are not defensive badges but look at these steady shooter corner specialist slippery off ball clutch shooter i know it's not the point of this video but jesus christ I mean, this is a good card to have how do you get this guy i think you have to you have to evolve all of these cards right here all of these players right here you're gonna get them when you complete domination they'll be emeralds you gotta evolve all of them then you get the danny green and then you can evolve the Danny Green. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely think you should pick up that Danny Green. All right, so now we're going to go into some triple threat rewards. Um, really, the only two good defensive players are the great ones from the triple threat. It's going to be Dominic Wilkins and Serge Ibaka. Uh, obviously, these dudes are so hard to get. Serge Ibaka, you need 500 wins in triple threat in order to get him. And then he's, he comes as a pink diamond. But his, his defense is still great as a pink diamond. And then Dominic Wilkins, you got to get 1,000 wins. But if you guys want to see what they look like defensively, I'll show you. Look at 98 defensive overall. This man, like, no, almost nobody scores over him for me. Um, let's see. Block 98. Steal 80. His perimeter defense is 68, but he's a big man. Interior defense 95, and his rebounding is amazing. Like, this dude is amazing, bro. And then his badges. Seven Hall of Fame badges. Pogo stick. Defensive leader. Chase down artist. Rim protector. On Hall of Fame, like... And then he has Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Moving Truck, Post Move Lockdown, Tyler's Defender, Trapper. Like this dude right here is the definition of a lockdown defender. Dominique Wilkins is also another great defender. Uh, he's also also he's great on the offensive end as well. He's better on the offensive end, but his defense is crazy. 86 perimeter defense, not in the 90s, but he has clamps and he has 89 steel, which is why I really like him. He really locks some dudes up for me. It's not really about the defensive ratings, more about the badges that they have. So let's take a look. Um, he doesn't have any Hall of Fame defensive badges. But he has Pick Dodger on gold, Chase Down Artist on gold, Clamps, Off Ball Pest, Tireless Defender, Trapper. And that's really that's really it for the defensive badges that he has. He's a really good card. Um, so I definitely think if you have time on your hands to go for a thousand wins in triple threat, then go ahead, you know, and add this man to your team because he's a great card to have. Probably my best player on my team. But yeah, that's really going to be it. Those are some of the best offensive players that I think you could pick up if you really don't have the time to grind for like the pink diamonds or the galaxy opals or the diamonds that I spoke about. Then I think, you know, you can go for the rubies like the Danny Green or you go for the sapphires like the uh, Andre Gudala or the rubies, uh, Michael Ray Richardson, Michael Cooper. Those are easy to get, you know, and they're good. They're good cards. But I definitely think and then there's also the Amethyst. There's the Shane Battier that I spoke about. He's really good. Um, but if you're going to pick up a diamond, I honestly think you should get Sidney Moncrief because that man is probably the best defender in the game right now. So, but that's going to be it for the video. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. 
me on a road to 200 subscribers right now so if you guys could hit the subscribe button on this you know on my channel i would really appreciate it and uh that's gonna be it i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out